what's up everyone welcome back to the channel back in florida felt like taking the nsx out for a drive this morning there's a couple little things that have been happening with this car nothing like nothing bad nothing like detrimental or anything but uh the ac the uh like the climate control has started to only work sometimes on like full blast basically it doesn't work in any other modes um and then after some driving, it'll go back to actually working on all the modes. That and my driver's side window started to get really sticky trying to go up and down. So I just don't touch it anymore. I might need a new regulator for the window. I'm not sure yet. On top of that, Florida is so fucking humid that the bolts on my steering wheel got all rusty. So I need new steering wheel bolts too. Just a bunch of little shit. But man, does it feel good to drive this thing again. I fucking love this car. New product alert. This time I'm bringing back a classic from last year. My multifunction divine light panels. This time not only can you get the OG one, but you can also get the gothic style one as well. So this time they come in two designs with three different colors for each design, including a new neon white that I've never done before. These were by far my favorite product that I dropped last year and you guys have been asking for them ever since, so I decided to bring them back. Not only do I have those items in stock, but I also have my waving Shaka lights in stock in red, purple, and blue, as well as a full assortment of the classic Divine waving air fresheners. Love these. And not only that, but every order placed on the website comes with a free Divine jet tag. Head to the link in the description, pick up something really cool for your car. Once again, I appreciate you guys heavily for supporting me. It means the world and I couldn't do any of this without you. Now back to the video. As you guys know, right now, my main project on the channel is the Supra and getting that car built, ready to go. And uh, I think now every single part for the Supra has arrived, which is awesome because I get to make a video explaining everything, the entire build breakdown for that car, and it's gonna be sick. But also, I drive my LS400 every day now. There's no discussion. LS400s are like the best dailies ever. And the car's been kind of dormant on the channel. And uh, that's for a couple reasons. One, it's my daily now, so it's not like as low as it used to be. It's way more comfortable to drive. I just do daily driver maintenance on it and it's great. Love this car. I've had this car for two and a half years now. And I've been waiting on some parts for this thing to make it even better. And they just showed up today. But. Out of all of my cars, this one is definitely the dirtiest. Gets driven every single day, left outside for a lot of the time. It's in desperate, desperate need of a real thorough car wash. So I'm gonna give her the sauce, get this thing looking clean, clean, and then we can dive into the new parts for this thing. so much caked on crap on this thing. I haven't given this a good wash in so long. Definitely need to get this car buffed and uh, coated in the future. You can see the water is just completely sticking to it. No, uh, no coating on it whatsoever. Sucks, but I think the paint could come back. Almost done. Trying to be real thorough with this wash. Car deserves it. Well, in typical Florida fashion, it's almost 3 p.m., which means it's almost about to thunderstorm. So, can't leave this thing outside if I just friggin' washed it. I'm gonna go find a place where I can put it. And then we're gonna dive into the new parts. Obviously right now it doesn't have the wheels on it, doesn't have the body kit on it, but even in the form that it's in right now, it's gonna make it look so much better. There's also this little debate I've been having going on in my head, and I really, really want you guys to comment down below and uh, give me your input and your feedback on it. 
obviously I have the Century, the Toyota Century, coming in about a month or so and it is everything an LS400 has but so so much more and obviously that car is going to be getting some crazy VIP treatment and get three times the VIP energy that the LS400 got. I'm very excited about that but from there what do I do with the LS400? Because both cars are going to pretty much be the same thing. I thought about selling the LS400 but I don't want to so leave it down in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys think I should do with the LS400 once the Century gets here because at the end of the day I don't need two cars that are exactly the same so I'm curious let me know y'all thought I was playing by the way like clockwork look at this so a long time ago my good friend Peter I'll put his Instagram right here Peter's car parts he runs a online store for LS 400 catered parts and rare JDM stuff for LS 400s and Celsius all the way from UCF 10 to 11 to 20 to 30 he always has a ton of cool stuff in his website so I'll leave a link in the description be sure to go check him out but a long time ago we put together a care package for my LS 400 with a ton of cool stuff in it to level it up a little bit one of those things was the body kit that I had gotten painted and mocked up on the car in the past. Fast forward, this box finally showed up. This stuff had to get made, it was from Japan. I believe there's three super cool things in here and they are going to change this car. Okay, there's some really cool shit in this box and I'm really, really stoked. First thing I'll unbox is a new roof wing for the car. Because the LS400 is not going to be this slammed, super low to the ground car anymore, I feel like having some aero on it is necessary. Now that I have that body kit for it, this is just gonna be kind of like the icing on the cake. All this stuff is gonna be the icing on the cake. So this roof wing is by a company called Silk Blaze. Ooh, it's already like, oh, this this definitely came off the car. This is like beautifully painted already. That is a really, really nice piece. It's already painted pearl white. I wonder if it's the same pearl as my LS, as my uh, Supra, because it, I think it might be, because I see some blue flake in it. It's gonna be a shame that I have to repaint it, but I'm gonna shoot a bunch of close-ups and stuff afterwards, after I'm done unboxing all of this, but this is a really, really nice piece. Ah, that was almost Thumb V2. So this next piece is a trunk wing by a company called Rando Sports in Japan. And it's kind of like a mix between a duckbill style wing and like a almost like a OEM style wing. And you'll see what I mean when it like actually gets mounted onto the car. So what I mean by that is the uh, the edges will actually overhang off of the top of the trunk and slightly onto the end of the quarter panel. So it'll almost have kind of like a OEM wing style to it, but it's a very low style wing. Not very tall, very clean, very cool. But the last item is what I'm the most stoked about because it is what's going to change this car. And this car has been in need of this for two years. So there's two of these, so you can imagine what they are. The headlights on my LS400 are dusted. They're gone. There's like no saving them. I've tried to save them before. Wow. <laughs> so these are OEM headlights in practically brand new condition, but there's something interesting about them. It's gonna be real hard to see, but see that bottom line there? That's actually an LED strip and it'll illuminate when the lights are on as well as the turn signals. So these are custom modified uh, OEM headlights from someone in Japan. There's no brand name to their company or anything. It's just someone that modifies them in Japan and uh, they, they're freaking beautiful. They're like brand new. I, this, is, this is what's gonna transform the car tenfold and I'm unbelievably stoked about that. Oh, they're so nice. This is such a refreshing thing to see. Even Honestly, even if they didn't have this custom little strip inside of them, I would be so stoked to just have a set of headlights like this 
brand new. This is why I love Peter in his store because he just has stuff like this laying around. He finds the deals, he sells them at a fair price. Stuff like this for these cars is getting harder and harder to find. So if you're in the market for any cool goodies for your LS400 or Celsius, check out his link. So I did a little bit of research on these companies. This company sends uh, your stuff raw in this black kind of a coated material. And this company will actually paint match things to your preference uh, before you send them. So I think the default is just white. Uh, but regardless, I'm gonna get these all scuffed up and painted. I like to think that I understand painting pretty well. And if this car was like some 30, 40, $50,000 car that I was putting these on, I would be definitely having Randy come by and getting these things done. But I think that I'm pretty confident that I can get this stuff scuffed up, cleaned up, and uh, sprayed pretty damn good. I'm gonna get these all prepped. Randy, I now know what you mean by you need ventilation in here. <laughs> it is hot in here, but I think you'd be proud of me. A little 400 grit and then moving on to <clears throat> red scotch bright to just leave a nice even finish on everything still gotta alcohol them down but i can do that over in the booth same thing with this one 400 to start scotch bright to finish it off and uh they're both ready to spray so i'm gonna pop them in the booth go grab the paint and get to work so before i paint the trunk wing i'm actually going to shoot the roof wing in black primer and then while this is drying i can shoot that one in base coat and then after that i can sand the primer make sure that that's all good i've spent so many nights in here with randy watching him paint kind of like learning as i go and using spray cans is not a good example of it but it does teach you how to lay paint consistently the right way i'm going to give it my best shot and if i screw up you're never gonna learn unless you try. So I'm gonna set you guys down right here, get this piece all cleaned up. colors paint a sample basically of my LS400 so it's black onyx there's no pearl in it it's just straight black we're gonna give it a shot worst thing that happens I screw it up and I call Randy and we get it the right way remember when I said there's a chance it might look like shit it looks like shit I wish you guys saw it before. I went over both panels. By the time they were dry, they looked like primer. They were cloudy and white and junk. I don't know if it has to do with the paint or if it's too humid or if the material is different, but it shouldn't be. I don't know why. I hit up Randy, told him about it. I went over them with some black paint that we had here just to see if I could save it. Still looks like shit. Not very stoked on it. I'm leaving that clip real time because I literally just texted him and I was like, I need to call in Randy for this. He was like, I'll be there like Batman. Nah. Oh shit, I see it's wrapping. This is this is Krylon. Oh. I tried Duplicolor, looked like shit. Went over it with the Krylon to see if I could save it. Still kind of looks like shit. The Krylon probably would have been better just because the Duplicolor has a lot more of a bite. Yeah. And what happens is when you don't seal it, and you sand it through, yeah. or it went through the clear, then you're mixing two different uh, chemicals together. Got it. it. I don't know these things. 
I sanded it, prepped it, alcoholed it. I was like, all right, it's paint time. Yep. Not the case. We, mix it. we just gotta water sand it, seal it, like primer seal it, and it'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. It's just going the same color as the car? Yeah, just black. That's funny. Hi, Randy. I was on my way here. I was like, he has no idea. I, I had no idea. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna be freaking out when I get that. I said, I'll be there like Batman. <laughs> In the meantime, while I wait to finish uh, our little paint dilemma, I figured I'd do the LS400 headlights. So we're gonna be trading out these dusty, yellow, gross ones for these boys. I'm so stoked. You had it right there. Right there. Oh, yeah, right, there. There, right, there. Nope. right there. So there's the action. So it'll be for turn signal. A little ricey. <laughs> <laughs> we ran into an issue though. These are HID and my car is halogen. So there's gonna be some splicing and some relays and things that are gonna be needed to make this work. But we're gonna do our best to try and make it work with what we got here. Even if I can just have the lights themselves working and I can't get the little turn signal thing to work, I'd be stoked to just have clean new headlights on the car. Because these things are ready to just get yeeted. These boys are saving this video. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. As soon as I saw the HID ballast, I was like, oh no. And I am the worst with wiring, I'm, I will admit that. Woo, look at that, that's cool as shit. <laughs> I love that. Yeah? Yup. <laughs> that's awesome. There's a before and after for you right there. Ugh. <laughs> that cloudy ass, gross ass <laughs> Oh, this is gonna transform it. Now I need the bottom fog lights. Huh? I, I said it earlier, he goes, he goes, are you gonna tell him or am I gonna tell him? I'm like, he's gonna say it. <laughs> what, the, the fogs? Yeah. No, I knew they were dusty. I wonder if those could be like re-cleared. I've never tried on those, yeah. but yeah. High beams work, got HIDs now, sequential turn signal works, everything. So we just have to swap the fuse for a 25? Yeah, you don't want to swap it because as soon as we plug in this side, it's going to draw a lot of power. Yeah. And it's gonna they're going to start flickering a little bit. Got it. So, I'm sure we got a 25 yeah. laying around. I think on the bottom of the lights, on the, it'll tell you how much. 35 no. watts. So it's going to be right around like 20 to 25 okay. amps. Okay. So much better. Let's see how the HIDs look like at night. Ooh. Ooh, man, that is so much better. God damn, that is so good. Nice and bright. My old yellow ones, you couldn't see shit at night. I am so pumped. Well, I'm glad we were able to figure out the headlights. They look awesome on the car. We get a busy weekend, so I'm gonna fast forward and see you guys when we are fixing the wings and everything is fixed huge shout out to randy he came by yesterday got the roof wing and the trunk wing looking awesome sometimes it's just better to leave things up to the professionals but anyways this stuff has been sitting curing for a day i'm gonna go grab some tape get this stuff all mounted up on the car and then take some final shots oh i'm so stoked i pulled the car in here just for a little quick mock-up and laid the trunk wing on and look at this. That looks so freaking cool. It's the perfect amount. Just a really nice little duckbill style wing. Oh, I love it. You can see what I meant, how it will overhang over the quarter just a little bit. Giving that like OEM kind of style to it. Very cool.
I'm stoked. This thing is finally taking its final form of its new look. All that's left is getting the body kit put back on and getting some new wheels for this thing. Euro HID headlights installed with sequential turn signals. Super cool. Refresh the entire front end. Thing looks like a million bucks now. Silk Blaze Japanese roof wing and Rando Sports trunk wing. I think these fit the car great because they're very subtle. They just kind of complement the body lines of the car and everything. You can kind of see what I mean here. The wing follows the body line and the quarter panel very, very nicely. I think once the entire body kit is put back on this thing, it will look complete, except for the wheels. Still waiting on barrels to get the wheels fixed. When the barrels do come in, I'll most likely end up selling the wheels and looking for something else. So if you have any recommendations for cool wheels to run on this thing, I'm all ears. I've got a couple ideas, but definitely something to fit the big body VIP style of this car. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done LS400 content in a very long time. It's been months and it felt good to dive back into this car. Give it a nice refresh. Before you go, like I said in the beginning of the video, my new Divine light panels are live on my website. Be sure to go check them out. Any type of purchase supports me heavily and I appreciate it very, very much. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Pick up something cool for your car and I'll see you in the next video.